Hello, today I'd like to show you how to gather up your blocks to sew them together into rows ready for making your quilt top. So it's very exciting, you've made all your blocks and now you want to lay everything out to see how it's going to go together. Well now obviously on this design that I've chosen where I've just done a nine patch um, it's all going to kind of alternate, I'm alternating it with a, a plain fabric square but if you were using something that had different blocks or different colours throughout the quilt you sometimes need to lay them out to make sure that everything is looking right before you sew everything together. And then you want to sew everything together the way you laid it out so that it's not back to front or upside down or something. So this is how I would do my quilt. I would lay it all out and I would number as I look at it. So as you're looking at it on, um, from there, I number the left hand end square or block of my quilt. So I've numbered them in rows starting at the top. I start with number one, number two, number three, obviously number four and five, and I just pin that number on and I leave it on um, as I'm sewing the rows and things together so that I always know that things get a little bit mixed up or if you get interruptions, you haven't finished a job, and you know that that's actually row three and that's the end block for it. So it should save some confusion later on um, for some things. So then I've laid it all out, I've numbered my rows, I'm happy with my layout. So now I'm going to pick up my rows and I'm going to just stack them one on top in order with the numbered one at the bottom. And I do that with all of them so that they're all ready to go. And if I'm not sure what row I'm working on, I always know that I can just look at my bottom block and it tells me that that's row number two. Because um, I might be, as I said, interrupted or all sorts of things could happen as you're trying to sew a quilt top together. Uh, things don't always go the way you planned them. Um, and so that's my five rows that I've got here. You might have ten rows, it doesn't really matter, the, the, the method is the same. So that was just how I get them ready and then I take them to the sewing machine and I sew all my blocks together. So I know that this is my end block and I'm going to sew it to that end of that one and then I'm going to move it along and sew it to that end of that block until I get to the other end. So that's how I organise myself ready to sew my blocks together. So. Now I've got my rows sewn together, we had numbered them um, so that I know which row is, is which. So I've got my number one still attached on the left hand end of my row, number two and three etc. And I'm happy that everything is where it should be. I've pressed my seams so that they're going to alternate when, I'm, when they meet another seam. So here, this seam's going this way and this one's going that way. So it's a good idea to try and have your seams alternating in direction um, somehow or other so, so that they just snuggle in together when you join them up. So now it's a matter of joining up and we're just using a quarter inch seam allowance. I talk about the quarter inch seam allowance. If you're not sure how to achieve a quarter inch seam allowance, I have covered it in a previous quilting tips and techniques video in video 021. And these nine patches that I've made, you may have seen before if you've been watching, but they were nine patches um, from, a, from Fat Quarters and that was in a video tips and techniques um, 034. So that's kind of all coming together now. So now I've got to join all my rows together to make my top before I think about borders. So now I've got all the blocks and the rows joined up. So actually I don't need to keep my numbers in any longer. I can take them out. The only time I might leave something in is maybe for me I like the bottom left hand corner. I might leave that one in if it was a quilt that had a right and a wrong way up for easy recognition when I'm handling it and things. Otherwise we don't need those numbers anymore. So as you can see the quilt is all together. Um, it's come in a little bit in size because we've taken in all those seam allowances and now it's ready for me to think about some borders. So we'll come back with another um, tip and technique video about measuring up for your borders. But that's my quilt top all joined up. So into rows and then join the rows together using a quarter inch seam allowance, pressing our seams so that they nestle and labelling the rows to help you keep everything in order. Thank you.